With us now is Kimberly Birch, and she is the winner of the reality TV show, I Want to Marry Harry. Welcome <laughs> to the show, so great to have you here. Thank you for having me. So I heard that they put you in a room with like no windows or something, let's talk about that. Oh yeah, okay. it was probably the most interesting experience of my entire life. They basically, you know, I found out that I was going to be on, on the show, that they had picked me as one of the contestants. And all I knew was that it was um, a bachelorette style kind of show, that there was one guy, 12 girls fighting for his love, and I was going to some foreign country. That was it. So I had actually just come back from a trip in Europe with my girlfriends. I had one day to pack all my stuff, and they said basically summer, spring, fall, winter weather. So my entire closet came with me and every kind of shoe you could think of. And they flew us to England. And before actually filming the show, they had us locked in a hotel room for a week where we had no cell phones, no means of communication, no internet, TV, magazines. I think I had the Bible in my room. That was about it. <laughs> And they actually boarded up our windows, so we didn't know what time of day it was. And um, they'd have a chaperone come in two or three times a day just to check up on you, make sure you didn't scratch the walls down or anything. <laughs> so it was, it was definitely a, a nerve-wracking experience. And when did you first discover that it was uh, Prince Harry that they were talking about, well, but it wasn't really Prince at Harry? At first, when you first got on the show, they, there was no mention of the, the guy being Prince Harry. They sort of just led us to believe that it was someone famous or of, of higher stature in England. So, I, I mean, I at first personally thought that it was either an athlete or some sort of actor or someone high up in politics there, but the, the thought of Prince Harry being on a reality show never crossed my mind whatsoever until midway through the series where they started giving you little hints here and there. And that it might be him. That it might be him, right. And tell us about one of the most uh, interesting, fun times you had on set. What well, <laughs> for me, we had to, um, halfway through the show, we had to pick um, a date for him because he was picking the dates for all of us. So some of the girls, they went on picnics with him. Others had like a wine and cheese tasting. And I've always wanted to go bungee jumping. So I thought, what a better date than to do that here. <laughs> so I got the, the production team to get um, a portable bungee set onto the castle estate and we went bungee jumping that day and how has winning affected uh your life how has it changed your life uh, you how has my life win? changed i mean definitely all for the better i've gotten signed with a management team called talent express lorna she's my manager great manager and i just started working with them this year and it's actually gotten me back into acting because, I mean, I've done theater and kept up with acting for all my life since I was a kid, since I could remember. And I was part of a repertory theater company when I was, you know, in middle school and high school. And once I, I went to college, I, I, I kept up with it. I did plays and stuff, but I sort of moved away from, from the whole acting scene, thinking like, oh, now it's time to get a real job. <laughs> so when I got picked to do the show, it sort of relit that, you know, that passion for my, for my acting. Uh, so now tell me about this uh, NYU program that you're involved in. Um, well, actually, I had just found out a month ago that I had gone into NYU grad school, which for me was, you know, a shot in the dark, so I'm thrilled about that. But it's a special program. It's um, 15 people, and it's called Drama Therapy. I know a lot of people have heard about like music therapy and dance therapy, so it's similar in the same sort of, you know, genre. And you actually use acting techniques to help facilitate, you know, mental health in people. And I particularly want to work with the incarcerated population, which everyone thinks I'm crazy for doing. But drama therapy has been proven to really help that specific population, especially along with, you know, drug addicts and, and people in, in rehab centers and stuff. So I think it'd be great to use my passions and what I love to do and know you know, how much it has helped me throughout my life. Well, thank you so much. It's wonderful that you had the big win, thank that you. you're using your talent in order to make a difference in the lives of others through drama. That's fantastic. You're just a dear, so <laughs> thank you for being here. Stay tuned for more on Live It Up. We've been visiting with Kimberly Birch. She is the winner of I Want to Marry Harry, but she didn't really marry him, so let's find out who she does marry someday. Who knows? Hopefully not anytime soon. Stay tuned. She says not anytime <laughs> soon. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.